More than two decades after the crime, police make an arrest in the murder of a teenage girl in the Bronx. And tonight, we are hearing from the victim's family who say they had lost hope of any resolution. CBS 2's Ali Bauman with a story that is new tonight. 49-year-old Joseph Martinez is taken into NYPD custody and charged with murder Monday, 22 years after Minerlee Soriano was found strangled to death in a Bronx dumpster. I'd like to say to him, why? The 13-year-old girl was last seen in 1999, leaving her Bronxdale Middle School when she asked friends to go to the library with her, and they declined. Soriano's body was later found wrapped in a trash bag by someone looking for discarded movies in the dumpster behind a Bartow Avenue video store. He threw in the garbage in the dumpster, como she was the garbage. She no was the garbage. She was a human being. Investigators spent two decades searching for the killer. Over the phone, Soriano's father told me he had lost hope there would ever be an arrest. I feel happy because uh, justice is working. But I feel sad at the same time because it, like, it takes too long. Sources tell us police found Martinez, a New Rochelle resident, using familial DNA, a controversial method which allows police to search for potential relatives of a DNA match. I can't explain because I can say I'm happy because they catch him, but the pain is in here. The pain no go. The family told me this arrest does not give them closure, but it does feel like the first step in justice for Minerlee Soriano in the Morris Park section of the Bronx. Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.